Hello, welcome back to my channel, The World According to Lisa. Uh, today I'm going to do a very quick video, like a uh, before we leave, um, to talk about what bags I'm taking away with me. And obviously, one of them is and what's in what I can fit inside. So, one of them is my new uh, Gucci Disco Soho bag which I'm very happy I got because, as everyone knows, in our community, they're discontinuing these. So finally, I've wanted one for about two years and I sold a whole lot of things and got this one. But anyway, that's just a small story on that, background story, and I'm going to show you what's in that for my trip to take overseas. And also my never full uh, GM. So I'm filming this with the lighting off to the side of me today, so I'm sorry if it's a bit uh, odd, and then everything looks backwards to me when I'm here. So um, we've also had, I was going to call this my disaster bag, because I've carried this bag around with me for the last three days. There's been like um, a weird disaster with Kelly's passport. Well, not weird disaster, it was my fault. Um, her, we got to the airport and her passport had expired. And so for the last three days, I've been manically trying to fix it. And yeah, so there's been little complications along the way. But uh, we got there. I think my video is on 2%. Is it on 2%? No, 29%. Okay, so I'll be quick. So in this... Um, the GM Never Full. There is my uh, makeup bag, my toiletry makeup bag. And this is just in case um, I lose my luggage. I still have some makeup. This is uh, what I wanted to show you as well my rose water hydrating mist that I got by um, an organic company. So that's really beautiful to play it spray on the uh, aeroplane. So this is just little emergency things. If I don't, I'm not taking a lot of makeup where we're going, I won't need it, but I am gonna vlog. So, you know, you never wanna come on without any makeup because you look awful. Um, a pillow, which also, neck pillow, which also turns into a little square pillow, which is really nice. So it kind of folds back in inside itself. Uh, so, what else? Oh, pens and pencil, because I never like, I always fear that my pencil case is going to, that a pen or a pen, pen sorry, is going to leak in my bag. So, I know it could still leak through that and then leak in the bag, but it just, I can't bear to bring myself to put um, a pen inside here, which is quite annoying on day to day because you quite often really need a pen. Another one is my uh, Jerisha little uh, pouch, and this carries all my medicine that I might need, my headache tablets, um, band-aids, uh, yeah, painkillers, just anything that I might need while away. Right, so I've got my vlogging camera, uh, which I am going to be vlogging heaps to make memories, personal memories of the vacay, the family holiday. So that's in there, carry that on me. My sunglasses, which will be in there, the Oliver Peoples, which they're not there now at the moment, I don't know where they are. Uh, charging, so my reading glasses, carry those just in case, you know, my bags get lost. In the pocket in here, I'm going to take a lipstick, just one, it's a light, uh, what's it called, bite, it's just a little bite one, some hand cream, uh, that's the cocoa and sandalwood, which I'll just keep in the little pocket. I'm going to take some bathers in case they lose my luggage, a little tank top dress, just in case to change into, some little shorts, and then... That's my car keys. And then at the bottom of the bag is just a mess of rather important stuff. So I have a, another DS, what do they call those things? A DS card or something. 
to, for the camera, just in case. And then down the bottom of the bag is a complete disaster because I have been, like I said, I've been using this bag over the last few days. Um, Kelly's father was in uh, South Africa. He's in South Africa. He's away. So I've been doing the tissues. <laughs> this bag down the bottom has got quite... Um, I, I think it's got quite dirty. Um, I'm quite clean. You won't be able to see it's probably quite grainy. It's coming up grainy now. But, yeah, I find the lining of this, this colour... It has got quite dirty. A um, little bit disappointing, like if I was to ever resell this, where I resell my things, um, the lady is very fussy and very peculiar. Not peculiar. She's like very particular. Sorry, that's the word particular. And um, she would notice every mark on here. So, yeah, that would devalue the bag instantly. Just the fact the marks on the inside, the, there's no damage on the outside other than normal wear and tear. Um, just, you know, the, what happens to these bags here on the, the cheta. But, yeah, this that would devalue. You should pick up on that straight away. So that is coming to the airport with me, um, mainly to hold the pillow. I don't know if I'll use it as a beach bag over there. It's been great. It's been my work bag every day for the last two months. I absolutely love it. Um, and now in this little baby, which I haven't, I didn't do an unboxing I, on my channel. I didn't do anything. Um, yeah, I just felt a bit silly doing an unboxing because um, I just don't do a lot of unboxings anymore. And... Even though I still love handbags, I did want to show you guys officially on my channel. The colour comes up different on um, Instagram. Depending on the lighting of this bag, it really photographs differently. This is a rose beige. Uh, I did want the pinky colour, but I'm glad I didn't get the pinky colour now. So inside this bag, I'm going to take it back to, take it to get my tax back. Um, I can officially fit my Chanel key holder, key holder, yeah, key holder, yeah, uh, which has been amazing, and I got this specifically uh, to put, put them inside there so they don't wreck any of the linings of my bags, particularly my Chanel bags. It has got quite dirty now, the red colour, but it's wearing very well. You know, it's an everyday item. I bought it to use it every day. And it's. I looked around before I found the Chanel one and, you know, my luck, they just happened to have the <laughs> exact one I wanted. So that's it there. I absolutely love it. I'm not used to filming on my computer. All right, so tonight I'll just probably take the smaller set of keys. I probably won't take that overseas. Uh, it currently in here now, which is what I'm considering taking, well, most of it I have to take. Obviously, our, our passports, um, Kelly's and my passport, which is in my passport holder. And, yeah, that's Kelly's new passport, which we're very excited to get. If I told you the story of how tricky it's been, you would probably um, stop watching. So anyway, so that's got two passports, um, just some cards there, a Medicare card, some receipts. Uh, I'm going to take my little pochette with two sets of eye pods in there, um, just in case Kelly forgets hers or wants another pair or we lose a pair. So that can fit two in there. Some Fiji money in here. So this fits in very nicely. Yesterday I changed the money. The Fiji money is very colourful. Look, so cute. It's like a little rainbow of colour. Uh, Kelly's little money, I've got it separately. Her Some of her savings that we she got. This is one of my favourite purses ever. Um, 
it's just been absolutely amazing. I got it in um, Chanel overseas a few years ago in Jakarta. And it has been, I could talk about this, I could do a whole video just on this purse. Uh, yeah, the notes kind of fit at the back. I do have to kind of pull it over, coins with my medicine. So I just really, if I'm using this, it's got cards, medicine, can put coins as well, and cash. So it's just, yeah, notes. It's really, really been a great piece and I've never seen them again so so that and that uh, this is why I bought that bag as well because I can put these in there like that okay so take those out some um, pawpaw and coconut lip cream thing lip balm it's not my favorite but um, and you have to touch your finger with it which I don't really like applying that way, but I'll just take it. I might change that out. This I have this been living for. This is my Goya um, card holder, and I have notes squashed in here currently. Can you see those? Yeah, all notes. And what I do is I just fold the notes down and put $10 notes in there, and I kind of save up. I don't really spend the money in there. It's just emergency money. And I love the little thickness that it's getting. If you can see that there, I'll take my hands away. It's getting like a really beautiful little kind of thickness on the to it. Um, because I hadn't used it, I probably got it two years ago. And now that I'm, I am, I suppose it's stretching it out a bit, but I really love it. I love feeling it. It's like um, this one, you know, like when you've got the, um, this style leather and the Chanel, you just really love touching it. It's, it's like a real tactile thing. And people that have the um, lamb's wool leather will know what I'm talking about with the Chanel. Like you just, yeah, there's definitely a, a pleasing feeling. It's like a tactile feeling to it that you love and you just love holding your things. It's strange. So this, I'll carry my driver's license for extra ID and some bank cards and credit cards and that I generally slip in the little back pocket here just, yeah like that and then in the other one I just have some little sometimes I have little doggy bags or little lady hygiene products so I will pack that like that but if I wasn't going to the airport or on a, on a trip it technically can fit um, all of these things in here, I'll just set them in. So my passport holder goes in there. Get the lighting right. I'll tell you, you need, I need professional lighting. I'll show you that way. In fact, I could probably turn that light on. My earpods still fit in there and I've got room. The Fiji money, still got room. A lip gloss which I could also take a little smaller much smaller one but that stands up straight what I am finding about this bag though is which I don't like um, and I don't know if mine's doing it more than anyone else's um, I might take it back and show them because I think it's a bit of a fault I stuck been stuffing it properly exactly how they told me but I know really fussy people like me will be able to see what I'm talking about. It's doing this thing here and I don't like it. Uh, I know it, if, if it was because my body's squashing it, I wear it that way. So against my body, I just don't know why that side's doing it. That's got the G on it. And if, can you see that little lip thing there? And it's like that whether it's got stuff in it or not. And I've seen, I've watched a lot of videos on this bag and they're not doing that as much. So if yours is doing it, let me know. Um, yeah, 
I got two extra holes punched there. Um, a lot of people complained that uh, this bag is too long on them, so they shorten it and then that strap comes all the way through here and flaps around and there's no little, another little bit of leather. But you do get a leather sample, so you could always turn that into, um, you know, a little, get it made into a little piece on the sample because you do get a sample of the exact leather when you buy it. So for me, I wanted it specifically got this bag so that I could wear it crossbody. And the bottom of my hip is here. A bit hard to show my pants up. Okay, just show you. So yeah, so it's still, I think it's a okay height or length, sorry. Um, that's my where my belt is. That's my belt there, and then the bag's here. So, yeah, look, it could be longer for a crossbody bag. Um, this is probably not the best angle to show you. It could be longer. This cardigan's getting in the way. Take the cardigan off. Just hold on. Yeah, so that's it, yeah, like that. And the little tassel goes at the back um, on me because I always wear my bags this way. I suppose if you were to, you know, you could move it more round in the front like that. But yeah, I really like it. Um, I'm glad I got this colour. And then what I'll do is take my hat. So that's it. I will pop my hat down into this bag. Off to the side kind of or lay it on the top or wear it at the airport like an idiot I don't care <laughs> so that's it that is what I'm packing on my holiday and yeah I will see you when I get there and I'll vlog some more hopefully okay bye guys thanks for watching and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel uh, yeah okay bye guys